Oh. Hi there, something's wrong with this machine. Oh yeah, he just needs to get off the weight system. So, do you mind hopping off? In my first working in retail video, I told you guys about my job in a major Australian grocery chain, which I referred to as LOLs. Many of you tried to guess the real name of the store, so I wanted to give you guys some credit for your creativity. You worked at Lowe's, didn't you, Jess? It's Coles, isn't it? Coles. I think you worked at Little. It's a shop in the UK. Haha, <laughs> I know what shop you work at. It's Coles. Lols is collies. Jess, you used to work at Rolls. Lols is polls. Okay, to be fair with you guys though, over 90 comments got it right. Lols is coals. I've also seen a lot of comments saying that people will find me at one of these stores and well, good luck. So anyway, I've been working at Lols here and there for the past two years and well, it has been interesting. As you all know, this pandemic has unfortunately thrown a spanner in the works worldwide and I can say working in a supermarket has converted some people into savages. Not this kind, this kind. Most notably when Australia had the toilet paper shortage, as soon as the doors opened in the morning. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, give me that, that's mine. Give that to me. We also had limits on some other essential items like flour, rice, milk, cream, pasta, frozen veggies, and chicken run on DVD, and people were not happy. What do you mean I can only buy two packets of pasta? They are different types of pasta. Yeah. So you can sell me all of this. I can only sell two. They all fall under the pasta category. Well, I guess I can't cook lasagna tonight. <laughs> As my bad luck would have it, I was taking off work for a week when these changes were rolled out. And I came back to this. We now had to clean every register every hour, wash hands every hour, sanitize hands after every customer, which is completely understandable given the situation. But man, the hand sanitizer? Because I was using it so often, my hands felt like they were 90% sanitizer 100% of the time. This one time, I used some which obviously no one had used in forever, considering the amount of gunk on the nozzle. I pressed down the spout and it literally fired all up the side of my face and in my hair. Phew, no one saw. Hello. It's the more subtle situations like this that are the most embarrassing. We also eventually got screens placed in to protect the staff and they were called popping screens. I thought these were a good idea for the most part, their only fault being that they kinda cover the FPOS machine? Like where's the logic in that? I served this old guy one day and he was planning to swipe his card to pay for his groceries. My card won't fit, can you just move the screen a tiny bit? Oh, uh, okay. Since my last retail video, I have proven myself trustworthy enough to work in various other sectors of the store. And by this, I mean I spend god knows how many hours walking around aimlessly in the self-serve machine area. These machines play up constantly. I get to carry this little barcode that fixes majority of the problems. It's powerful. I am powerful. This machine just stole my money and says I haven't paid. <sighs> Whenever this happens, I need to physically open the machine and search for the missing bill that has gotten stuck somewhere within. This is sometimes awkward because some people just complain through the whole process. This is why I never go to these machines. Technology is stupid. I've got places to be, people to see, movies to watch. Just hurry up, please. I'm trying my best, but maybe don't put crinkly notes in there, okay? The machines can't deal with your poorly looked after currency. Bye now! I don't think some people understand, but I am 
always watching. Yes, I see you, Darren, trying to sneak that eggplant as some cheap grapes. But it's clear also that people do make honest mistakes, usually apologizing profusely and paying immediately afterwards. See you. I like you. And sometimes this happens instead. See you later. Bye. Someone must have forgot their toilet paper. Oh no. Okay, what did they look like? What clothes were they wearing? Hey you, stay here. Make sure no one steals anything. Oh, hey Jess, I... <gasps> Excuse me, is this your toilet paper? Silly me. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful that you returned my precious toilet paper to me. Did you hear that, guys? She returned the toilet paper. <laughs> guys, that was the last toilet paper. Over the past two years, I've had the worst luck with fizzy drinks. If these big bottles are standing upwards on a moving conveyor belt, well, I'm sure you see where this is going. I've had a lot of close calls. There was this one day where this guy bought some Sprite. He had them standing up at the checkout. Of course. I went to scan one, but my timing just wasn't helping me on this day. No! It sprayed me, then the customer, in the face. My first instinct was to grab the bottle and put tons of paper towel around for pressure to hopefully stop the mess. Oh, how I was wrong. I ended up placing it in a bag, which I should have done to begin with. I would have made it out of there a little less soggy that way. I was lucky the customer wasn't an angry guy. He was pretty chill about it all. He got a new bottle, paid for it, left the store, and then I was stuck with the mess. Oh! But in all seriousness, this job still isn't too bad. Sometimes if I looked out the window of the shop, I would make eye contact with a friend that works at another store. It would pretty much go like... I've also made some awesome friends while working here and one of them found out about my channel. <laughs> if you're watching this, hello. I've also come to know a lot of the locals and feel like I'm fully integrated into the town's community now. So this incident also happened in the self-serve area. I was minding my business until an old lady called me over to a machine because it ran out of receipt roll. In the end, she didn't want a receipt anyway. She just called me over to tell me the issue and left. Thank God. So as you can see, nothing crazy is happening here until I went to put in a new receipt roll into the machine and it just glitched out. Out of nowhere, the receipt paper is just flying out of the machine. It was spitting out so much paper and the only thing that was on it was saving $5.28. I will never forget that number. I tried touching the screen to make this stop it didn't work. I tried ripping the paper. It, it didn't work. The only thing that made it stop is me physically taking out the receipt roll. It didn't make a good noise. And would you look at that? I put it in again and it just worked fine. It just pretended like nothing happened. Well, here I am holding a big stack of paper saying, saving $5.28. Wow. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, before I forget, on night shifts, a local chicken shop delivers free leftover chicken for all the staff. And it tastes amazing. I thought that was crucial information I had to share.